Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about my systems for recognizing and organizing ZBLL. If you don't know what ZBLL is, as a super quick overview, it's a last layer method with about 500 cases that solves everything except for edge orientation. You'll get a ZBLL for every solve if you use a method that pre-orients edges like ZZ, or if you use a method that doesn't pre-orient edges like CFOP, you'll get it one out of every seven solves, so it tends to be less worth it. Regardless of the steps leading up to it, there are a variety of methods that go about recognizing all the different cases. Lock recognition is what I used for the majority of the cases that I know. There aren't any real rules, I literally just look at the colors and find unique patterns and combinations. I think that this method is the easiest, which is why I've used it for so long, but it also often requires multiple AUFs, so it isn't very good for high level speed solving, which is why I switched away from it. For this case, I don't see anything, but checking L, I see this little block. I see this anti-block, and I check to make sure there aren't any other blocks on the other side. There are two anti-blocks. There's this big block, and then there's this other little What I've switched to is called Bomb Harris. It works by comparing the FU edge to the FUR corner, and comparing the RU edge to the RUF corner. There will be three types of relationships, adjacent, opposite, and correct. These are abbreviated as AOC. So this case is considered adjacent, adjacent, this case is considered adjacent correct. This case is considered correct opposite. This case is considered OA opposite adjacent. My main issue with a system like Baum Harris is that there are four cases that can be categorized as AA. This is remedied by cross comparing the stickers, which can then be categorized as CXC, OXO, CXO, OXC. When I first read about this, it seemed like it would be a big problem but in practice, it's not too much of a hassle. I personally don't like the naming schemes with two sides, so I've named each case based on what it looks like. For all of these, I just imagine that the corner is twisted correctly. This is just a Z perm with a U move, so U, Z, or U's. These two form a block, and these two are opposite. I call it a plate. These all form a block. These two sort of form a line here, which to me looks like a river. If you want a more comprehensive and text description of this, I learned it from Simon Swanson's ZBL PDF. I don't use it for ALGs and have no idea if the ALGs are up to date, but the fundamental recognition systems aren't going to change. It's linked here and in the description, just in case. A neat thing about ZBL is that because it solves CP and EP, you can iterate through each possible combination, and you'll always have a new ZBL. You can do this by doing an EPL and AUFing, and then doing a COLL. This is how I organize all of my ZBLLs, including the ones on this paper. This side has UA perms with no AUF, U, U2, and U prime. Uh, this side has UB perms and all the same AUFs. And this side has two Z perms, H perm, and skip. For this case, you do a Z perm, no AUF, COLL, and you got a plate. For this case, you do a Z perm. AUF, COLL, and you got a backpack. For this case, you do an H perm, no AUF because H perm, COLL, and a waterfall. For this case, you have skip, no AUF, COLL, and a river. However, I don't think that Bomb Harris is the best method. That honor lies with twisty PLL. It works by imagining twisting the corners to a solved orientation and then using two-sided PL recognition to identify the case. Admittedly, two-sided PL recognition relies on essentially the same systems as Bomb Harris, but what do you expect when you're dealing with such a niche thing as this? This system makes recognizing from all and any four angles the easiest since, assuming you already know full two-sided PL recognition, there aren't an extra 15,000 angles that you need to learn. Its final strength is that you don't necessarily need to use CXL recognition, which often really sucks, since you end up recognizing the CP during the PLL phase. You might be wondering why I don't use this if I think it's the best. Well, it's because I don't know two-sided PLL. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you like the video. It's always nice to see that people are enjoying my content. Regardless, get out there and do better ZZ solves.